You know me. SDMT. Let's talk about it, man. How to design your training program. We got to give you that structure, okay? Now, I have an example of the program I made for my younger cousin at that time, and it's going to show you, you know, weekly, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, how to set it up, okay? So let's talk about our our position, our position training drills, our agility and our speed training, how to set up that first, okay? So the way we wanna set that up is, I think a good, for beginners, you should probably do two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, and repeat that during your week. Now, if you're intermediate to hardcore, I think a great pattern of training program for you is three days on, one day off, three days on, and one day off. So what does that mean? So when you're doing your position training drills, your agility drills, your speed training, doing those drills three days and then taking a day off, allowing your body to recover. We don't want to overtrain in a sense where you, you know, your body you, you, um, pressure, you put a lot of pressure on your immune system and you get sick or you get injuries. So we want to make sure you give yourself that one day off. Now, a lot of times if you're really hardcore, you're one of my grinders, you might want to do four days on and one day off. I definitely understand that, but it's very important to let, let, allow your body to recover. Okay. So when we look at that, you know, three days on and one day off is really effective, okay? So let's say, you know, you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you take Thursday off, you come back Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you get on your grind, you know what I'm saying? So that helps help you be consistent. You wanna consistently train these drills so you can make that progress, all right? So that's a great pattern and program, three days on and one day off for a lot of you young athletes out there, okay? Now we look at that. Now, with our lifting and our calisthenics, our body weight workouts, our big muscle groups, our back, our chest, our legs, they need three days to recover. So let's say if you do a big leg day, lift and leg day on Monday, you shouldn't do legs again until Thursday. Now, that's if you're doing a hardcore leg day, you're doing like several exercises for legs. Now, if you're doing like maybe some squats, some lunges, and some leg curls, just three exercises, your body's gonna recover a lot faster. So you can get yourself maybe three, two to three days off for recovery. Now your smaller muscle groups, your biceps, your calves, your forearms, your shoulders, they recover a lot faster, okay? So they only need about one or two days to recover. So you can hit those muscles more frequently than the bigger muscles, okay? So that's another thing. So let's say you set up your lifting and your calisthenic days for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, okay? So you wanna get at least three days of resistance training and lifting in, okay? So when I say resistance training, that means either lifting weights, doing push-ups, squats, um, lunges, resistance training. It doesn't always have to be weightlifting, but it can be bands, it can be body weight, you know, just helping you um, build that muscle. You need to build muscle if you're gonna be an athlete and if you're gonna be on that football field, okay? So you need to be lifting, doing your calisthenics, or doing your lifting weights or bands, whatever you can do, okay? I got some more workouts coming. You guys stay tapped into the channel. Stay locked in to the channel that supports your grind. You gotta support the channel that supports your grind. That's the difference to me and all these other channels, all right? So we understand that. Now with the drills, I got a lot of people comment and messaging, messaging me, how many times should I do, the, do these drills? How many reps, how many sets, okay? The way it goes is what I want you to do when you see these drills, pick three drills, okay? So pick three drills, try to master them. Do those drills 10, 12, 15 times, okay? And then next time you come out, review those drills again, maybe five to seven times, then add a new few, a few more new drills. You wanna master these drills. You don't wanna run through them, okay? A lot of people, oh, I need more drills, I need more drills. You haven't mastered the drills that I gave you before. So if you haven't mastered those, you get more drills is not helping you. If you're not really taking the time to get better and you're trying to rush through these things, that's not going to be the best case scenario for you, okay? We want to be get more explosive. We need to get faster. We need to become more agile, get better jukes. That's what all these drills are for. The more you do them, they build up your leg strength, your leg power, your leg agility, and your speed. So we want to do them properly, okay? So make sure you don't rush through these drills make sure you do each drill at least 10 to 12 times so the sets wise you're trying to be how many sets do each drill one time about 10 to 12 times okay and then you can you know pick three of those drills to do that now our training sessions they should last about two hours okay these training sessions should last about two hours you got your stretches your warm-ups i'm going to go through a lot of that for you guys as well and then you have your agilities and then you have your position training drills and then at the end you can do some sprints and conditioning as well so that's how we set up our training program with that i'm going to be um explaining the, the you know the 
how to go through your um, training program, your training session, and better set it up as well. So we'll be talking about that in the next video. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Training sessions for at least two hours. Making sure I think a great pattern for you is three days on, one day off, three days on, one day off. Make sure when you're lifting your calisthenics days that you're doing, you know, your bigger muscle groups, you're giving about three days recover. Your smaller muscle groups, you're giving one or two days recover. All right. And mainly you should be focusing on your compound lifts anyway. You shouldn't be focused on too much isolation lifts, bicep curls and stuff like that. Always focus on your compound lifts, your deadlifts, your squats, your bench presses, your pull-ups, your rows. Those are going to be best for you as an athlete. All right. Hopefully this helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on my notifications, and go to my football drills playlist and watch all the videos to make sure you stay on point before I have that new fire coming out. All right. I'm out. SDMT!